Hello, and boy do I have a bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, in front of you, you may see a rather large sort of duffel gym bag thing. I'm not really sure what the exact uh, term for it is, actually. This is something that my mother bought for me uh, back in 2000, maybe 1999. I cannot remember. I was, well, I was... Eight at the time, seven, eight, I can't remember the specifics, but basically she came back one day with this pretty big bag. As you can see, these are my hands, so it, you know, it's not the biggest, but it, it's pretty large. Um, with an interesting uh, array of Pokemon on the front. This is, as far as I can tell, actually official, although back in the day most things were official, or plates or lunch boxes, there was everything with Pokemon on. But just have a quick look, uh, Blastoise, Charizard, Gengar, for some reason, who's the size of Charizard? And kind of the size of Blastoise, I guess? I don't know, it's a bit weird. Uh, also we got Eevee, Psyduck, who is... No way is Psyduck that large in comparison to Eevee. Surely. Surely it's not that, because... No, it's not that large compared to Pikachu or Meowth, or Cubone either. Also, Poliwhirl is almost like... He's half the size of Blastoise. That is... It is bizarre. And as you can see on the side, it does have the Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All. So I don't think this is a fake item. This this seems like it's pretty legit. And I do kind of like the, you know, the sides have that kind of thing going on. But anyway, so you may be wondering... Wow, thanks for showing us a bag. That was great. Um, well, no, actually, you see, all of this is filled with Pokemon plushies, or soft toys, or whatever you want to call, you know, dolls, or whatever you want to call them, um, which I collected since, you know, Pokemon first came out in 99 or whatever, and I saw them all in here. I do have a few extra, which I'll be showing you at the end, but this... Is filled with original Pokemon plushies, basically anything from the year 99, 2000, 2001, and maybe 2002 at a stretch, but I don't think so. So I thought today it would just be interesting to kind of go through this bag, see what's in here, because I, ha I honestly have not opened this bag in about 10 years, maybe a bit longer. So anyway, two seconds, I will be right back. Okay. I am back. Uh, sorry about that. I was just trying to set things up. So, as you can see here, there's a front pocket, there's two side pockets, and there's the main thing. We're going to start with the side pockets and the front pockets, and then move to the middle. Now, I will say this as I'm opening this. Not all of these plushies will be Pokemon. As we can see here with the first one, which is Gomamon from Digimon. So... Uh, I don't know whether I want to put it in the title, really. I probably will. Digimon and Pokemon. I thought it would just be cool to have a look at the old plushes uh, that I had. There's no real point to this video. If it doesn't interest you, do feel free to just click off or whatever. Um, also, I don't remember all the names of the Digimon, so this will be interesting. But I think this is Gomamon, which was... I can't remember his name. Not Izzy. Um, one of the Digigestins, uh, Digimon. Aha! And we do have Izzy's one here. Tentamon, I think his name was, uh, with his kind of weird horns that don't really look that great as plushies, actually. I think as a kid, I literally just bought these because, hey, they're kind of big versions of little toys you could get, but, you know, this is larger and I guess you could play with them more. I don't think I played with these much, really. I kind of just displayed them. Anyway, we're off to a very... Oh, God, okay, we're off to a very Digimon start here. This is Mimi's Digimon, and I can't remember her name either. She evolved into a cactus with boxing gloves, though. Uh, if that helps any. Uh, also, we've got the petals here, which are, like, folding up, unfortunately, and don't look that nice. Okay, I think this may just be a Digimon uh, thing. Ah, yes, okay, this is Agumon's uh, baby form or whatever. What was before Rookie? Beginner? I, I can't remember. Um... Yeah, I always quite like the design of this Digimon. It's very, very simple. Incredibly so. But, I don't know. It, was, it, always, it always kind of struck me as quite nice. Ooh. We have Patamon, which is... 
Oh, I can't remember his name. I can either remember the Digimon or the Digidestin, but I can't remember both for some reason. Apart from, I guess, Tai and Matt and then Gabumon Nagamon. This is Patamon with years that don't particularly flop very well or anything that kind of hold up. Uh, but, you know, he looks pretty cool. Who else do we have? Uh, ah, there we are. We have Gabumon. The guy I was just mentioning, with his technically two arms and two other arms because he skinned a wolf or something, I guess. There was an episode where he took off his fur once, which confused me uh, greatly because I thought, you know, he was just part of him. But no, he's apparently wearing the fur of another Digimon, which is interesting. Oh, and his little stomach thing, he does have defined there. Uh, as I think these may have been Burger King things actually let's see it says digimon there mcdonald's ah there we are okay so i think i have most of the collection of the mcdonald's digimon uh plushies which is pretty cool i think i bought some of these are car boot sales and stuff obviously uh aha we have agumon here pretty basic agumon but you know still kind of uh i think he's a, yeah he's a mcdonald's as well okay so i presume all of these are? Is he? Let's see. Hang on. Yeah, okay, he is as well. And I think there's one... No, there is nothing else. Okay, well, that is my collection of Digimon plushies. Uh, small Digimon plushies. I think I have a few more as well. So, I'm going to uh, jump cut again and clear those out of the way so we have room to look at the other ones. Okay. I am back, and it is time to open up side two. Um, ah, there we are, the zip is there. I'm sat at a odd... Okay, cool, there's nothing in that one. <laughs> right then. Well, that was cool. Right, this may, this may be what you guys have been waiting for. Vinti... oh, hang on, okay. Uh, <laughs> right. So, some more Digimon. You know, if all of the front is Digimon as well, I may break this up into two parts and uh, do a specific Digimon thing and a specific uh, Pokemon thing. Wow, this feels like it's degrading. Um, you obviously can't tell because you're just looking at it, but genuinely this is all like sticky and stuff. This used to be, um, well, I guess it wasn't leather, but whatever, you know, sort of fake leather or whatever but wow this really does feel like it's sort of broken down in the last 10 years or so and that's kind of sad uh actually because uh so this is gabumon um this guy's pre-evolved form if we're going for pokemon terminology here uh for those that don't know digimon he he is one of my favorite ones because his design is pretty darn cool oh let's see it is Greymon, which is Agumon's Digivolution. He is a champion Digimon, and honestly, <laughs> looking at it now, I'm not that impressed. Oh, he actually holds up a lot better. This still feels really nice. Uh, whatever material was on him is clearly worse off. Maybe I just need to wash it or something. Oh, actually, it's kind of gone a weird colour as well. It was as dark as um, Greymon should be. That's really bizarre. Okay, then. Um, these, obviously, were not McDonald's. These were, I think, just, like, straight-up things you bought. I think I bought them, bought them from Woolworths. If anyone remembers that. I think there were some Woolworths in America, so even American viewers may know what I'm on about. Ah, there we are. We have a larger Gabumon. Now, I quite liked Gabumon uh, as a child. I just realised something interesting, so if I can get... Does anyone notice a difference here? Um, the big one, the like beanie one, you can hear the beans inside, doesn't have the back flap of his um, his second set of like arms or whatever, which is really interesting because you'd think with a paid product that they'd be more, you know, be more sort of true to the original thing. And I can't find who manufactured this. This probably had a tag on it or something. A part of me wants to say it was a Toy Beanie thing, but I don't think it was. I don't think Toy Beanie ever did Digimon things. Or maybe they did, and I just never knew about it. Oh, who is this? This is... Oh, Gatomon! Okay, right, so... 
I definitely bought some of these plushies around the time of like 2003 or something, I guess, or 2002. Um, because Gatomon is from the third series of Digimon. Uh, actually, <laughs> this is an interesting version of Gatomon, so the face looks kind of weird, like really, really cute. Um, I'll try and pop up a picture of Gatomon from Digimon, like the animated show. Um, I don't know if I actually did that, so it may just look like my finger had a small spasm. But this is really interesting, because it makes her look really, really cute. And if I remember correctly, she wasn't quite this cute in the show. Um, but I do like, you know, there's the printing on the arms there with her claws and the sort of stripes. And her tail has the little ring on the end, uh, which is lovely. And I think that is all from the front. Right. Okay, so this video is going to be in two parts. Part one is the Digimon part, which you'll probably be able to tell from the title that I put below. Um, so, stay tuned for part two, where I go through some classic Pokemon plushies.